My nose keeps getting aggressively preened. He has no idea of personal space and boundaries. That's my stuff. Hey, that's my stuff. He is as close as he can all the time. I can only answer emails with one hand. Munchkin, he's definitely something else. It starts with preening, and then suddenly it turns into a battle. He loves to get into trouble, especially on my desk. Stop looking. I'm working. Anything that he can do to get me to laugh or look at him or talk to him, like that's all he's after. And so when I first met him, I was overwhelmed big time. I found Munchkin on Instagram. I saw a photo of him and I was like, he's the cutest thing ever. So then I saw that he's up for adoption and I squealed. I immediately put in an application. At first, they did not want to adopt to me because he is so special needs. Obviously has the beak deformity. His skull is about half the size it should be, which makes his one good eye kind of like pop out a little bit. At the time, he was not known to be very social with humans. So after eight hour phone call, they finally said, how about you just come out and meet him and we'll see how it goes. Now I walk in, I say hi, I cry a little bit because it's finally happening. But after about maybe 30 minutes or so, I just asked if he wanted to step up and he did. Who are you? And his foster mom starts crying and she's like, he's never done that. She could not believe it. He comes up and he starts preening my face. So we were kind of like, yeah, this is gonna be an adoption success. When I first brought him home, it was actually like nine o'clock at night. We just put him to bed, we let him relax. The next day, I just opened his cage and then he immediately started darting up to me. He is unlike any Amazon that I have ever worked with. From the very beginning, Munchkin would come follow me and be with me. He just kind of hangs out. But when it's me working, he's also a little mischievous. He loves to roll over and he will do a play bite. Like, hey, I'm here if you want me. I think Munchkin influenced every part of my life. I have only ever experienced this before with one other bird who I had and she sadly passed away. And it was kind of like this perfect timing. When I'm gone, I think about him or like I bring him up in conversations and stuff. So truly obsessed. The poop cleaner, the taxi and the treat dispenser. I'm very happy to be that for him. <laughs>